a blacksmith was shoeing a horse. Shoe him quickly, for the king wishes to ride him to battle, said the groom who had brought him. Do you think there will be a battle? asked the blacksmith. Most certainly, and very soon too, answered the man. The king's enemies are even now advancing, and all are ready for the fight. Today we'll decide whether Richard or Henry shall be king of England. The smith went on with his work. From a bar of iron he made four horseshoes. These he hammered and shaped and fitted to the horse's feet. Then he began to nail them on. But after he had nailed on two shoes, he found that he had not nails enough for the other two. I have only six nails, he said, and it will take a little time to hammer out ten more. Oh, well, said the groom, won't six nails do? Put three in each shoe. I hear the trumpets now. King Richard will be impatient. Three nails in each shoe will hold them on, said the smith. Yes. I think we may risk it. So he quickly finished the shoeing? and the groom hurried to lead the horse to the king. The battle had been raging for some time. King Richard rode hither and thither, cheering his men and fighting his foes. His enemy, Henry, who wished to be king, was pressing him hard. Far away, at the other side of the field, King Richard saw his men falling back. Without his help they would soon be beaten. So he spurred his horse to ride to their aid. He was hardly halfway across the stony field when one of the horse's shoes flew off. The horse was lamed on a rock. Then another shoe came off. The horse stumbled, and his rider was thrown heavily to the ground. Before the king could rise, his frightened horse, although lame, had galloped away. The king looked, and saw that his soldiers were beaten, and that the battle was everywhere going against him. He waved his sword in the air. He shouted, A horse! A horse! My kingdom for a horse! But there was no horse for him. His soldiers were intent on saving themselves. They could not give him any help. The battle was lost. King Richard was lost. Henry became king of England. For the want of a nail the shoe was lost. For the want of a shoe the horse was lost. For the want of a horse the battle was lost. For the failure of battle the kingdom was lost. And all for the want of a horseshoe nail. Richard III was one of England's worst kings. Henry, the Duke of Richmond, made war upon him and defeated him in a great battle.